we created two data frames, then we will go with a join. Simple inner join. We will see inner df equal to. I will go with the first data frame. Very very simple uh, syntax. First table dot join. Then what next? Obviously we have to put second table, right? A bit that means second data frame. Then what next? We have to put some column name, right? Uh, to join any two tables. So what is that column name? What I will do? Column name when we want to refer table name dot t e underscore customers customer ID equal to this table, correct? This table equal to equal to right dot dot again this column. This column. Okay. So now we computed. We we given a first table name, second table name, and then joining condition. What next? If you want to give whether it's left join, right join, then here you have to give in brackets inner. I want to write inner. That's it, guys. So this is optional again. You no need to if you don't specify anything here by default, it will do inner join. That you have to understand. Remember. Fine. So let let's do show. Ideally, we used to get all the columns from A table and B table, right? Let's see. See here, a customer from customer. These are the columns. First two, four columns, four five are from customers, and uh, next four are from uh, transactions, right? So this is how we will do a inner join. What it will do? Inner join will Take the common columns, right? I know I am explaining very slow because time is not matter for me. What matter for me is to understand you, right? You should understand better. That is the idea. So this is uh, the first table, and uh, and uh, this is the second table or a data frame, whatever. Yeah. Right. So if you see, what are the columns common? Customer ID is one, two, five. What is here? See, this is the second table, right? One, two, five is there. Six is there. One, two, five, six is there. Right. So one, two, five, six. This we have to get it because of it is in a giant. See here, one, two, five, six. But all the columns. So if you want, you can select the respective columns. If you don't want all the columns, you can do a select. And get the columns, right? So this is inner join. And next, it is very easy. Let me go to a left join. So left underscore EF okay, equal to same thing, same story. Because I don't want to write again and again, right? So you can easily expect. So this syntax is absolutely fine. Here you have to change left. That's it. Let's click on it. What is the left join means? It will take all the columns from the left table, right? What is the left table here? This is the left table. That means one, two, five, six, seven, eight. See here, one, two, five, six, seven, seven, eight. All the columns from the left table and matching columns data from the right table. Whatever are not there, then it will give you null values, right? So this is expected. This is what the left join. Hope you understood. Now we will go with very interesting. That is left semi. What is the left semi? We will see. We will use in our production uh, scenarios also. Left semi, left anti. Both are very important along with the left join, right? Left underscore semi. What is the difference here? I just write left underscore semi. Right. We will see. So uh, try to understand this table. We will get the answers from here itself. Are you able to understand? See here, one, two, five, six. Only this area, one, two, three, four, five, six, five columns from only left table it will give. <clears throat> left table that two matching records in a right table. See here, this part, this part it it brought. That is called this is we are calling this as a left semi. It is not bringing all. If it is left, it will bring all the uh, data from the left table. But if it is left semi, 
then it will bring only matching records of the right table. See here, it, it ignores this last seven and eight because those records are not matching in right table. So, and we will see left ante, which is very interesting. So, and very important is too. So try to understand the left ante giant. Left ante. Same here. You no need to do a thing, but don't make any spelling mistakes. That's it. Run it. We will see a different between. See here, whatever the left out, left out records. These are the left out right here, seven, eight. It is completely opposite. Left semi, left ante is completely opposite. See here. So based on the business department, we have to choose which giant is more suitable for us. Right? So you can also do yeah, right join. So if you understand this better, then we will go with right join. What right join will do? It is completely opposite to right left join. I will write right. Right. Just right. Let me just run it. See here, it will bring all the columns from our right table, matching columns from left table, right? What are the matching? One, two are matching, five, six are matching. Rest are not matching, right? So, but as for my understanding, left, uh, right anti, uh, right semi may not be there, right? So that is what I understood. So don't practice it, okay? So if you want to, this is a right join. What is the left join? Left join is it will take all the rows from the left table and matching rows from the right table. And right join is completely opposite. Opposite in a sense, when we call right, then it will bring all the columns from the right table and from the left table, only matching rows it will pick up. That is where we are seeing null values in the left table because these three and four are not there in left table, right? So, we rarely we will use right join rarely that is the reason you know i am just uh, uh, explaining you on priority like you know left join inner join we will use mostly and then left join and then semi join and then anti join then only we will go for right join because uh, very rare we will use right join and full outer join okay full outer join also very rarely used so what is the next full outer underscore outer What it will do? It will bring all the data, right side table and left side table. It's combination of we can say left and right, right? See here, it brought all the columns, all the rows from the left table and right table, right? So what is the use? When we when we do any use case, then you come to know, at, at, I mean, which join we have to use, right? Based on the business requirement, correct? But you have to understand the difference between these joints, right? Guys, are you able to follow? These are the joins which I want to demonstrate in this class. But cross join, uh, self join, very rarely used joins. I will take another data set which are more suitable to explain. And then I will try to explain that in our upcoming sessions.